listen to this track, bitch. Boy, drama boy, aka D boy, fresh man. We back, and you already know it's just a dime in the building, beauty in the beats, beauty in the beats, man. We back. What's happening? What's happening? Come on, man. We got in like photo shoot today. Hey, we went up today. In that thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, we we down. We don't play like they don't know. We got a whole. Production that goes oh, into yeah. this. Absolutely, man. We I had the gangster f- walk in this thing. Hey, we fresh as hell every time. Come on, man. Photo shoots behind the scenes. We got the mini series. It's the not a game. We got down the movies. Because, see, when we leave here, we might have to go in the suite somewhere and go oh, listen yeah. to Kanye. You know what I'm that, saying? That's what's happening, though. We, 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 <laughs> the, the suite waiting on us, Beauty and the Beats. Facts. You know what I'm saying? New music. Everything. It's what's dropping. it called? Donda. 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 It's I'm so way. excited about oh, it. It's gonna be crazy. Shout out to Kanye. Y'all always surprising to everybody. Just yes. out the blue, new album. The whole world cares. I was just so it. happy the way they got the way him and Dre did the commercial with yeah. Am I saying her name right? Shakari. Yeah. I just feel like she at a moment where we don't know, we uplifting her and she might feel we you know, we feel like she's this great, great thing, but she might feel you know, a little defeated right now. She might feel like her confidence yeah. might be down Thanks. because, Thanks. you know, that's just going to happen. Yeah. But them lifting her up and doing that commercial with her. No, that's big. That's big. It's bank. I'm amazing. glad our black men. But you know Kanye going to do that, man. He going to step in. Hey, I didn't know. I mean, and, he always surprised me. You know he never ceased to amaze me. So he one of my favorites. So I'm yeah, excited. I love him. Yeah. And I, I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just working with him on I Put On. Mm. I Put On for my city. His verse was on, crazy on, on there. Yeah, like, I, I gotta go. Come on, man. It, it's you know going to Kanye. You know what I'm saying. I, like I will always go to different listening sessions coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And it's like in the past five years, I can't remember a listening session that I wanted to go to or Me just either. been to. You know what I mean. Even mm-hmm. in the past ten years, you know what I'm saying for real. So I, I think it'll be fun just getting back to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. High starts. Yeah, and, and and just getting that first ear on something that you know is gonna be amazing. Amazing history. For sure. Hey, but I got a special guest. I'm going to say I yeah. because I feel like she's so great. Like, ever since the moment I met her, she's just been so welcoming. She's just the top of her craft. She's just, like, perfected her craft to the fullest. Yeah. And this is Beauty and the Beats. See, oh, we yeah, can't yeah, always yeah, be yeah. having no uh, rappers out here yeah, gyrating you know, like, around. We need a goddamn cover the beauty. We got to cover the beauty. So I got the top makeup artist, celebrity makeup what, what artist. What y'all be calling it? MUA? MUA. You know what I'm saying? Moi. Moi. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> you know, very humble. Olivia Song is in the building today. Hey, Liv. Hey, girl. We are so happy to have you. Girl, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is my first podcast, and I'm blown away. Oh, wait, you said first podcast? What? Yeah. We first. broke up virginity? Oh, man. First. Pop on Cherry. Pop this is like, Cherry. This whole facility is like top That's tier. Okay? I gave, I gave, I gave uh, a couple people they first yesterday. I gave hey. them some plaques and whatnot. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? So, Big man, to shit. deliver another first. <laughs> no, yeah. first. That's two firsts back to back. For already a big, you know, she's like, I, I wanted to bring Liv on because I see so much greatness in you. I see so much of a hustler in you because some people, you know, and it's okay. You know, she's a makeup artist, but I just see her becoming a mogul. Mm. I just see her Ooh. doing so many big things mm. that some people are maybe nervous to do yeah. or scared to do or things like that. And it just makes me intrigued to know. What's the motivation behind all that? What made you just say, okay, look, I'm a makeup artist, but I want to be a brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What brought that on? You know, um, I just, I just never get comfortable. Mm -hmm. I just never get comfortable. So, um, anything that I do, I'm, I'm just trying to take it as far as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, 
So I think that's that's where it comes from. I try to complete everything I start. Like you said, you know, mm-hmm. I've really worked hard for a lot of years to perfect my craft. So I'm just trying to take advantage of the moment mm-hmm. um, and and see how far I can go with it. Yes, you going real far with it. Like you coming from, tell everybody where you started from, like where you grew up at, because you in Atlanta now. Yeah. Cincinnati, but, right? Cincinnati. Yeah. Okay. Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I moved around a lot. Um, so I have also lived many years on the West Coast in mm-hmm. Seattle and San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Um Partly during college, I had went to Chicago. Mm -hmm. Then I had went home for a few years. And then I came to Atlanta. And I've been here almost two years now. What made you want to leave? Uh, So when I was in Cincinnati, I felt like I had kind of reached my peak. And I was comfortable. Mm. And I was booked every weekend um, for like three years. Mm. And... Um, Booked every weekend for three years. Yeah. (laughs) I was working. (laughs) I was working. So um, I knew that in order to take it to the next level, like I needed a a new environment with more opportunities. So that's what attracted me to Atlanta. I was considering L.A. at first, but it was so expensive. It was so Mm -hmm. far from home. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Sebastian was two. Your your son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So moving to Atlanta was kind of perfect because it's only seven hours away from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like it's the... It's the starting point. It's the Black Hollywood before you try to take on mm-hmm. L.A. Atlanta's where yeah. you should probably come and get your feet wet. Yeah, I didn't realize it's seven hours from Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, oh, driving. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. crazy. You jump. You can jump to Cincinnati quick. 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 Oh, yeah. and I because it's six to, to Memphis. Yep. Yeah, when I, mean, I it's, first it's really moved four here. and a half to Memphis if you're going about eighty five. Yeah, I ain't getting time. no ticket That's with your ass. Everybody <laughs> said, uh-uh. <laughs> I already had to go to court today. Yeah. No, they say Cincinnati is uh, five and a half to six hours when you push it. I'm like, I ain't getting ain't no nobody ticket. pushing nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's seven whole hours for me. Okay, <laughs> for you, period, <laughs> and it's that. I'll be there in about five. I'll be there. Yeah, about- <laughs> you beat uh, you beat us there because yeah. we gonna stop it everything. I'm gonna be <laughs> Maroon and eight and everything. Are y'all getting here? What y'all need? Do you hear me when you... <laughs> you we already got, got, we here. got We got the baby, so we're going to have to stop. Yeah, we got to stop. We got to get food. Yep. We got to let them walk. Mm-mm, it's not happening. <laughs> not happening in five hours. Oh, yeah. Yes. But drum. I'm there. You go... <laughs> <laughs> Drum gonna be in there Super speed They gonna have his ass in court Oh no 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 tickets <laughs> <laughs> You better have that ways on That ways mm-hmm. app And get you through Nah you know I'm a road warrior You know what I mean Going back and forth Through the highway I know what to look for What to recognize mm-hmm. I know when to slow down For sure Facts But you know I-22 We psh, I We know this shit Like the jump. back of our head Yeah man. you know what I mean <coughs> Facts Straight up so, Liv. Yes. You been so booked. Oh. I ain't got to throw no shade, but I ain't been able to really get in like that to get my makeup done. Because she been gone. She been working with, like, all these big name people. But I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Thank I just want to know, because, you know, when I, I was kind of, like, even floored when you had your last person, who was Kim. Oh, girl, yes. I was like, because Kim is my favorite. She's one of my favorites. I ain't, I'm not just saying this. I was sneaking listening to Kim. I ain't had no business listening to Kim. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. Okay. <laughs> so how did it feel when you got that call? What's, what, what, oh what, what's Kim, Kim was your biggest. Do you feel like she's your biggest Man, today? that's a legend. Yeah. That's a legend. Yeah. So. I, I'm a fan. Yeah, me I'm too. I'm seriously a fan. Mm-hmm. So, funny story is, mm-hmm. when her people reached out, I thought it was fake. Mm-hmm. I, I thought I was, like, being pranked. Mm-hmm. And they wanted to fly me to L.A. Nobody ever flew me that far for something. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, big campaign with Pretty Little Thing. I'm like, is this for is real? This real? <laughs> so, I actually did my research and looked up... Uh, basically like the management company that was reaching out to me and I saw that we had a mutual connection so I asked my mutual connection I said I'm scared to go I just want to make sure this is real Mm -hmm. can you confirm that this is a part of her 
management company. And he was like, oh, yeah, it is. And then I was like, oh, oh shit, I'm yeah, really about on. to do a little yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go be her face down. Man, and the whole, the whole plane ride, like, I'm just like, I have to, I have to, like, blow it out. Like, I have to do the best work that I've ever done. Wow. It was did. crazy. And she loved it? She loved it. Yes. She loved it. Because she ain't got rid of you. Girl, mm. okay. She been using you ever since. She told me the last, well, I just got back this morning. I was with her in Miami for something else. Mm. And she confessed to me. She was like, yeah, y'all the dream team. Because Jonathan does her hair. Mm-hmm. And I'll do the makeup with him. And she was like, yeah, y'all the dream team. <laughs> she had to go and admit it. Yeah. <laughs> See, like Kim, the type. She ain't yeah. just really going to admit it now. Yeah. But she just had to go and get she y'all. Had it feel to. good when you got your squad, man. Yeah. You, know, yes. so you got your go-tos. Yes. It's like. You know what I mean? And they're dependable. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, like for me as a producer, my go to is my engineer. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. if he pissed the artist off, I done had artists that leave with mm-hmm. like, man, drum, I'm going to just record this in my spot, fool, because mm-hmm. bro, ain't it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So having that right engineer is is so essential. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As well as just just the, the, the instrumentation for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, the guitar, the bass, mm-hmm. the piano, drums, or anything, strings, violins, yeah. whatever that I want to do. I get to my Quincy Jones and then put the flavor on it. But yeah. I think she's such a diva for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. Like, that's so diva. That's so boss to me. Yeah, that, to just that say any that. Uh, event that she does where she has to show up, mm-hmm. she going to fly us. Yeah. And she going to pay what she weigh. And she going <laughs> to put us in the best hotels. Oh, and we got up. drivers and stuff. Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm like, okay. You goals. Pay, you pay for that because it's like, I feel goals. the best I ever feel. Yeah. So she I willing look to the best I ever, and she want to make I mean? y'all feel the best y'all feel yep. to make her feel that way. Absolutely. Yes, so she, I understand. The first time that I met her, you know, I was so nervous, and she really kind of gassed me up, <laughs> like because I was so surprised to be there. Mm-hmm. But she was like, "Why wouldn't you be here?" Mm-hmm. Like, Period. you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like that was her energy, and I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> she gassed you up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I love her. Yes, yes. That's yes. crazy. Kim working, got a good working with somebody that you look up to, that mm-hmm. you respect, that you, you know, in, inspired by and, and just pay homage to, you know, and they yep. give you that call. Mm-hmm. Did that did that make you feel like you was a, like official or certified? Oh, I like, felt official. Like, <laughs> I felt official. That's yeah, you stamp. told me. I was like, oh. yeah. I was excited. I was excited. Because, you know, I have done a lot of the new um, uh, females in rap. Mm-hmm. Like, I've done, damn dear, all of them. Yeah. The Lotto, the City Girls, yeah. you. Mm-hmm. I've done. I've even done Cardi B, yeah. um, Cash Doll, Asian Doll, all the dolls. All, <laughs> all the, the dolls. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, to do, like, the legend of this shit. Mm-hmm. Who I used to listen to because I'm a little bit old. I be feeling old sometimes. <laughs> I'm 28, so right. of course I grew up in the. Yes, I grew up in the Nicki Minaj era, yeah. but I also, on some throwback shit, was listening to Kim, Kim, and I I knew that that she was you know one of the pioneers of this shit. Yes. So when she called, I'm like, I was mind blown. My and to mom. watch her do her thing, like mm-hmm. we get to go everywhere. We get to be on stage with her. I be with doing some shit when I'm with her. Yes. Okay. I'm like, cause some every people time, when they glam team come, they you know do my glam and go on about your business. Nope. Right. She want us right there every oh, time. And that's that's the spirit. That's the energy. That means you bring more to the table than just. Mm-hmm. And she looks makeup. happy. And you know it's it's not just the makeup. It's like like when we get cut. When we get our hair cut mm-hmm, from Bob yeah. mm-hmm. as men and, and just the conversation, Ooh, y'all be feeling the camaraderie, Ooh, you okay. know, but but it's deeper than the haircut, it's the hey, camaraderie, it's the conversation. Like makeup artist, yes. for real, yes. for real, just like for beauticians, yeah. Think about the conversations y'all have, yeah. We do some mm. chopping it up, and you get to vent and let mm-hmm. out. And That's like, why I be know. taking so long on your makeup because <laughs> we be in there talking about everything, <laughs> everything. We we spills tea when I get yeah. makeup <laughs> artist same thing same thing you know it gotta saying? be some type of trust friendship 
you know, something, not even just friendship, because it's business at the same yeah. time, but it got to be something there for you to even trust somebody to do anything to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You and know, because I don't see seeing, everybody trying. Seeing you behind the scenes in all stages, forms, and fashions. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And so... So, and you also, along with being a makeup artist, you're an entrepreneur. Yeah. So, tell us about the Supernatural, the cosmetic line. So, that came up. I had always knew that I wanted to do a product line because that's, that's a different type of money. It's, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like endless potential there. I can only take so many faces a day. Mm-hmm. Like, there's definitely a ceiling. There's definitely a, a physical capacity where I, I cannot make more money than this if I continue doing faces. Mm-hmm. Um, so the goal was to always have a product line. And during um, when Atlanta shut down for COVID, I started panicking because I was only like, probably five months into my move wow so i had already taken the risk and came to the city and now the world's talking about shutting Shut down. down oh god yes. no what am i gonna do <laughs> so that was when i started to get creative and and think of ways um to make passive income mm-hmm. um and that's when i did my first virtual class which did really well mm-hmm. and that's when i started my supernatural cosmetics brand Okay. And I had LLC'd that years ago because mm-hmm. I knew that eventually I wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I was in no rush. But in that moment, I took advantage. Like, let's yeah. just get this started. So COVID really made you just get it, get it yep. all the way together. Because it's like nobody going nowhere, nobody getting no makeup done. Yep. So it's like, I got to do something else. Exactly. Period. So COVID was bad and good for people. Yeah. For, for House of Fresh, my store. Uh I mean, business tripled. Mm-hmm. During lot, COVID? During COVID, a lot of the malls closed, but we started doing, like, appointments only. Mm. And it was crazy because people would feel like they in the kingdom. Like, they yeah. walking around and shopping and, like, you catering yeah. to them mm-hmm. and what size you were. And just to have the shopping experience to shop with me. We're like, man, you, ain't, ain't you? Mm. Yeah. Ain't you drunk with what? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm in here helping you and, you know what yeah. I mean? And catering mm-hmm. to whatever, you you know what I'm saying? And just serving that purpose as well as for a lot of our celebrity talents, Lil Baby, Dolph, Money Bag. A lot of mm-hmm. guys come through last minute, after hours. Mm-hmm. We open at 10. We open at 930. You set that appointment. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. they got to show that night. They yeah. need Get the mall they, not, I, I, you know what I mean? The mall clothes and things. So you have a store in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. House oh, of Fresh nice. ATL. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So who was uh who would you say is your first biggest client that you work with that you was like, dang in the beginning. Like the first from the from the you know what I mean? So in Cincinnati, like celebrities would come to do bookings, like mm-hmm. hostings. Mm-hmm. So Initially, I was doing like a lot of love and hip hop, a lot of reality TV, some bad girls club. So, I mean, coming from such a small place, like, I mean, the first person, the first person that was on TV that sat on my chair, I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was somebody off the bad girls club. Her name is Lo. Okay. Low London. She was on the Bad Girls Club. And I yeah. used to watch the Bad Girls Club yeah. all the time. Yeah. So that was I a think, moment for you. Yeah, yeah, anything then, on TV, you know, that's yeah. going to be a good look. Yeah, so. yeah fact. And then I think Dream Doll was next. Like, I had did Delicious in Cincinnati. Oh, I love Delicious. Mm. Yeah, yes. I had did, like, yep, before I, I came to her. Atlanta, I did, like, probably 25 celebrities mm-hmm. just... Um, who had came through the city to mm-hmm. do a hosting. So you was the go-to makeup artist in Cincinnati. Yes, they used to be mad. Like, how does she get everybody <laughs> that comes through yeah. this city? How did you get them? Like, how, how, did? Did you, how did you get to that point to, well, to be the go-to? I was the biggest in Cincinnati. I was the biggest makeup artist in Cincinnati. But, but I'm saying, that, how did you get to it? Like, like. Okay, <laughs> so I would be connected to promoters that mm-hmm. would directly put me in touch with the artists. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you make a post on Instagram, like, hey, who's the top MUA in this city? Everybody would tag me. Mm-hmm. Um, so some people chose me that way. Mm-hmm. And you started doing this where for college and in, in high school? In college, I was working cosmetic retails like at... Um, I had worked at Mac for a little bit. I had worked in Dillard's at like mm-hmm. a makeup counter. But when I 
left Chicago and moved back home, that's when I started freelancing. Um, so, I mean, I, w I was getting those opportunities different ways. And at that time, it felt really, really big to me. Mm -hmm. And I would set goals for myself. This probably started in like 2018. And I would set a goal for myself like, okay, this year I want to do 15 celebrities that come through the city. Mm -hmm. So you would set goals crazy. for yourself. like Yeah, because now that's the only thing that I do. Yeah. But looking back, I was very excited at the time to do the people that I was doing because it was big for uh, where I was. So mm. now how many clients do you have? Or do you oh, only Lord. work with, like, is, yeah, cause is you it said a you, limit? She got you know? a limit now. She just told me that. What's your, so, what's your client limit? So I'm not, like, I'm not available, like, to the public anymore. Mm -hmm. Um. Because it just they, they'll get kind of they'll, <laughs> they'll get kind of carried away. Like I be, and if I do for a special occasion, like sometimes people will come in, they want to take pictures and stuff, mm -hmm. or they want to just check me out, like see what I got going on. Mm -hmm. So now it becomes something different than just me showing up to work. Right. right. So that's when I realized, like, the price okay, got to go up or I don't do it. Or, yeah, like, I have to be more exclusive with this. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so, like, I had just did birthday bash because I just happened to be in town. I was like, I ain't doing nothing. Let me let me make some money. Mm -hmm. So I opened my books up for that. And when I do open my books up, they ching, will ching, book ching, me ching. in, like, five minutes. Mm. But... I'll only do it ever so often. Mm -hmm. And then my celebrity clients that I really mess with, the, you know, they just call me and usually I'm not, you know, I'm not doing, if I'm in town, I'm not doing too much. So then I'll do the people that I, you know, have a good, good so, reputation So if you're with. overbooked or if you like unavailable and let's say this is somebody that you fuck with or really fuck with, do you make referrals? Are you in tune with the oh, upcoming Oh, She might be a referral before. You know, I sent doing? you, did I, I have probably sent you a whole list of people. Well, you didn't send me a whole list, but you did send me to somebody before yeah. when you couldn't do me and he did very well. You said he had taken your class yep. before. And he did very, very yeah, well. She told him what, what colors to use on me, yeah. you know, all this yeah, stuff. So he so. did really, really well. Yeah, he for my you. clients that, like, I really fuck with, I, I'm going to make sure that they're good. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you keep your ear to the youth, the up and coming. And, 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 oh, yeah. Because yeah, a lot of dope. them take her that's class. Dope. Like, Oh, you have a class? Yes, we actually went on tour together, Drone. Like, that's she dope. had, she did, uh, what was it, Six City? Yeah. Six City makeup tour. And I was her makeup model for Chicago. Shout out to the Chi Town because they yes. sold us out. They sold, they bought all of the F1 cosmetic products that I bought. She put on a great class. You were a great instructor. I was even impressed. I was like, wow, she really like get down and Classes explain. Classes are amazing, man. Giving yes. back to these up and coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, MUA, you know. And like, they asked her, they was like, what make you just. Give us this knowledge. We'll make you share it. And she was like, I can't keep it all to myself. I can't do everybody but face. You, but but that, that's what takes you to the legendary mm -hmm. status. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. when, you, when you've when you learned, you've conquered, mm -hmm. you've accomplished, mm -hmm. you know, you became successful in all these things, you have to give back. And that's, that's one thing. As the OGs, mm -hmm. as the legend, you know, as the legends that we are mm -hmm. uh, for Memphis, mm -hmm. Jessica and, and, and myself, you know, is you got to do that. You got to. I always try to reach back and, you know, whether it's Uplift. girls coming up rapping like Swag, Jazz, and the Savages. or Exactly. And my people from oh, the class was excited to see oh, you. Wow. I mean, they were so sweet. Yeah. Chicago love you, girl. They love me. They used, they always booked me in Chicago. Yeah. I, that was one of my biggest markets, mm. oh, especially yeah. on Love & Hip Hop. They hey, hey, always you know, booked the, me. The pimp. The, 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 the pimp it's they the recognize this P. You know what I'm saying? saying? Houston, <laughs> Houston, Port Arthur, <laughs> Dallas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the uh, Oakland, Cleveland, oh, Chicago, oh, Detroit, they, uh, yeah, they know. Baltimore, Memphis. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you could throw some a couple cities in Florida. I'll let y'all discuss yeah, yeah, that. You know. know what I mean? But this is some things down there in Florida that that, that certified, especially. And you had to say Miami if if that's. Oh, you know that's my second home. So you know, you know, you know. Pete was down there. Yeah, 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 you know, Uncle Luke, <laughs> uh, Uncle Luke, Uncle Luke, hey, right up the street, hey, sixty nine boy, uh, yeah, hey, sixty nine boy. That might be, you know, look. Don't too make me put my stance <laughs> on there. <now. laughs> 
P I M P, man. Fuck you, mean, man. Making easy money, pimping hoes in style. Yeah. Memphis. Yes, sir. <laughs> Certified. Why would we? It, it, you know, we some pimping a pimping city. We made our name of our city, making easy money, pimping hoes in style. That's how you yeah. spell wow. Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> we two get up. But hey, listen, man, hold on, man. But you gotta tell me about the mink lashes, though. I'm talking about you. Talking about supernatural cosmetics. cosmetics. That's what the mink. You feel me with the yeah. mink lashes, man? <laughs> tell me what, 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 what? How, how they do that? What they do that? <laughs> Weak, they do so. that with you over here. You know, we obviously. talking to a man, so they don't necessarily know. Yeah, yeah like, the beauty part that's, that's why I'm asking for don't. my men. There's a lot of men followers. <laughs> they want to know, at least we get educated while we're here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if I see a girl with some some different, or what it, what, what <laughs> is a mink lash? <laughs> so Explain. it's just a higher quality lash. It's more full, it has more volume, mm. it's more dramatic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it had like the fur or something on the top of the lash. <laughs> well, like yeah, a... technically it's like the material is mink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fancy. So you got that on your eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Fly, fly. Right, you know, I sure I'm do. Trying to learn. Don't you know, keep them I'm on. I'm trying to get educated. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's a check when I blink my eyes. Baby. Okay. <laughs> Period. And she Meek got her favorite one. Lashes. I be putting toxic on her. Okay, yeah, toxic like, is the one I like. I look. Like I don't even gotta have on no extensions or nothing. Yep. I can just wear toxic, and I I'm happy. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's what's up. That's dope. Yes, and I want to know this: like, if you could pick um, anything, a celebrity, an actor, anybody that's like your dream to like make their face up, who would it be? Oh. I have a list of people that I want to work with when I get to L.A. Because, mm, oh, I forgot about that. She's moving to L.A. Yeah. She's oh, moving from Atlanta to Thank LA. you. I don't know if I want to say congratulations. Well, ah! you know, cause we'll be out there. We got, we got, you know. I'm a little salty. I'm a little me. salty. I'm a little salty. <laughs> I wouldn't even be real if I didn't say But I'm be very proud of you. Thank you. And I'm going to be getting on your nerves. Yeah. You'll be in and out. Oh, I'm going to be in and out. Because yeah. we got some shit finna pop off. So. How soon are you moving out there? September 1st. Ooh. So. You know, they've been shut down a lot. Mm -hmm. You might want to rethink that. No, but, but it's no, open it's gonna now. Be... It's open. Yeah, I know. But they about to shut back down. Yeah, they had they redid the mask mandate. Yeah. Mm, so you might need to wait a little while. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. She's going to go. She got some she private. Go. She I got understand. Some private I gigs. understand. Really just don't, just don't forget about nothing. the little people. Because I doing... still worked in LA. The first time I did Lil' Kim, it was shut yeah, down. Absolutely. But I mean, these mm, big private. businesses are still doing campaigns. Then I was Ain't about nobody. to say, people still doing private podcasts, yeah. Yeah. home podcasts. I went out there doing COVID too, and I actually was. Had a good time because it yeah. wasn't no traffic. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> in LA too, like it's so have not you been like vaccinated? club. It's like house parties and mm, stuff. It's Private not really clubs. Stuff. Yeah. And I have, have you been personally. I was about to say. So these because I gonna... do so much traveling yeah. and I'm on so many sets. Yeah. But that was stupid because they still make you get COVID tested. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't got this tonight. I'm scared. No, but that makes sense. You know, for her she, too. She yeah. In and out. So many people houses mm -hmm. and whatnot. But they trust her, especially. She vaccinated. Yeah. So Pets. now, you know, going to L.A., she going to get her money. Money. Yeah. She already got it planned out. She said she got a list. So who on the top of the list? I want to do, um, I want to do Sweetie. Mm. I want to do um, Nicki Minaj, of course. Okay. Some yeah. of the Kardashians. Ooh. That's the goal. Yeah. Right? That's the next <laughs> level. Yeah. Um, and even some of like the actresses, like I would love to do Karuchi because we're both mm. uh, Blasian. Mm. I think I would slay her. You would. Um, and then like just there's a lot of, you know, Gabrielle Union, oh, yes. Vanessa Bryant, Sierra, all those like top, you know what I mean? Yes. I would love to to work with some of them. Yes, you would definitely slay all of them. I know you would. Uh, each and every last one of them. Yes. <laughs> Megan, I want to do Megan. The stallion. Yep. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think she do her own makeup or something like that. Yeah, she need this beat. Hey, I, I'm agree with yeah. that. I ain't throwing no shade, but she do. <laughs> yeah, she, no, her makeup looks good, but yeah. it's, it's different. You know, yeah. it's it's a little different, so mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just going to go to L.A. and turn them up just a little. Yes. I'm Are you excited. nervous? No. You happy? Yeah. 
Okay. I was nervous when I had decided last minute to go for the BET Awards, mm -hmm. and they went they went crazy trying to get in my chair. People in LA? were calling other people like, "Are you there right now? Can you ask her? Can you try to get me in?" I didn't think I was gonna have clients like that. Wow! And they did you, was what, did me you down. do Kim for that too? No, no, you just went out there to do other people. And because I had thought I was going to be in Dubai, so my main people had booked somebody else because I didn't mm. know I was going to be available. So that was why I was worried. Like, mm. okay, all of my clients have found somebody else. Mm -hmm. So if I go here, who am I going to be working with? But I got picked up. I, I had ended up doing uh, Queen Nyja. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was fun. So I still got my BET award experience. Yes. yes. You've been just all over the place, Trent. Girl. I can't take I'm you. I'm tired. I know, right? You ain't tired. Work. Work. You ain't tired. You are not tired. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, it was something that's... Oh, okay. I wanted to ask you too. So, being Olivia's song, like, with... Because, like I said, some makeup artists just do their makeup and they go home. Like, how do you feel like you've built your brand up so big to where people are... Uh, like you said, when you go, they not even they just trying to be nosy. You almost didn't really became like an influencer, like yeah. you know, like a little celebrity yourself. So, how does that feel? And how did you do that? Did did it just be like marketing, like creating content? Well, I think I showed a lot of my personal life on mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. so people felt like they have an opportunity to get to know me as an individual. Right. And I intentionally wanted to make myself a part of my brand mm -hmm. so that when the time comes or I have this full cosmetics line, I could sell my own stuff and I don't need my clients to sell my stuff for me. Right. So I have always intentionally been a part of my own brand mm -hmm. i don't have a personal instagram and a makeup instagram like it's all merged like you might go on my story and i'm out of town <laughs> with my home girl yes. like, and I'm partying. you're selling the, the lifestyle as well yes mm -hmm. or you'll go and you'll see me working with clients or doing a one-on-one -on -one class or so. being a mom yes that too mm -hmm. so everything is merged i i definitely made sure that I was a part of my brand. Because mm -hmm. I notice a lot of makeup artists and hairstylists, they have a hair page yep. and they have a personal page. So it, it worked out for you to have everything on one page. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well. That's crazy, man. Just, just, you know, coming out of Cincinnati, you know what I mean? And really putting a stamp on the industry in the, in the, in the, in the industry on that makeup mm -hmm. side and becoming like that queen, and becoming boss. That, that boss, mm -hmm. that entrepreneur. What's next? Like, where do you go? You going to L.A., mm -hmm. you're going to put the stamp all over L.A. <laughs> and work with all of the people who you spoke upon. What's next after that? So, um, I am working on maybe TV. Really? But not like behind the scenes. Like y'all might y'all might see me on the TV. Me. Wow. <laughs> love yeah. and hip hop. <laughs> no, is that love and hip hop? No, no. It, it will be They uh, better bring me back. Uh, nah, I don't want to go back. <laughs> it will be like about um about the celebrity hairstylist and makeup artist, something like that. Mm. Oh. Yeah, and the behind the scenes really yeah. putting the spotlight on, like, because I yes. know y'all go through yeah. emotions. There probably be times when y'all want to break down. But, but that's the most seen thing, MUA. Mm -hmm. MUA. I don't it, it, even some men for films. Yeah. And, oh, you know, yeah. for blemishes or mm -hmm. you know, ingrown well, and hair. Then now and, in this day and time, <laughs> a lot of the cosmetic, like the hairstylists and the makeup artists, a lot of us are a part of our brand. So mm -hmm. now people are looking at up to the hairstylists and the makeup artists as influencers. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not just me. It's a whole bunch of people. Because it's mm -hmm. a content industry, right? Yeah. So it has to be so much content seen. Videos, people have pictures. have to be video ready, film ready, mm -hmm. uh, document, uh, a series ready, mm -hmm. and document, uh, documentary yep. ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever you're shooting. You got to have a makeup artist. Yeah. Period. So it's inevitable that they were going to do something like that for like 
the the makeup artist and the hairstylist. Oh, so. that's gonna be good. I hope you and Jonathan Ooh, be on no. there. You can't say too much. You can't I, say yeah, no I can't. Name, I can't say that. too much. But, but you I, coming? Def- I'm you coming. on the way? I'm on the way. You done, are, you done already shot some shit. I'm the way she's talking, the way she, she, she done already shot. It's already filmed. It's oh. already. Ooh. It's in production. <laughs> so, and then like working with the big names, that's also gonna be huge for my brand because mm-hmm. everyone, you know, whenever they see a new face on my page, it's like, oh my god, now mm-hmm. she's doing her. Mm-hmm. So, all of this is to build my personal brand mm-hmm. so that eventually, um, I will have a full product line or maybe uh, brand partnerships like with other big makeup companies and then i'm then i'm next thing you know i'm in sephora yeah you know what i mean so that's the that's the ultimate goal with this that's what's next yeah so la is kind of all about uh you know touching this these different level of celebrities and building my personal brand okay well i'm very proud of you you have not stopped since i met you and before so i definitely want to give my hats off to you give you flowers I wish you much success in LA, even though I'm a little salty. I know. But you know, I got you when yeah, you come Yeah, I'm finna be. Now you got an excuse, girl. I'm gone. Yeah, LA. Because Sean I, loves you. I love America. LA, man. I do too. I, I do love too. LA. I They're business love oriented. I love it. Yeah, and, and, and you then can I be can who smoke you my are, weed. And it's just, it's just accept Ooh, all I'm as dead. all. I can smoke you know my what I mean? I can smoke my weed. You can smoke your weed here in Atlanta. But not free fall. In LA, it's like smoking a cigarette. Don't yeah. nobody look at you sure. funny or nothing. Yeah, but I ain't. ain't I be like going in the grocery like. store stinking. I do the same thing. <laughs> Right here in Atlanta. I will never remember. Never remember that that we're talking about. They be looking at me like, hmm, she smells funny. The mm-hmm. first time she came to my house and got her makeup done, remember my homegirl was at my house. Yes, and I think we smoked. Y'all dude. was out on my balcony smoking. I said, oh, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I guess that makes myself at home, honey. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we need to know where we can follow you. Yeah. All your websites, everything. Website, Instagram, how we how we tap in. Yeah. Instagram is my biggest thing. Mm-hmm. It's Olivia Song, first and last name. Everybody asks me, is that my real name? And it's my real name. That's your Olivia real name. Song. Birth name. That's yeah. my Instagram. And I got damn it, that was gonna be my That sounds like an artist <laughs> yeah. account or something. You know it sounds like somebody, right? My mom did good. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You Olivia would be Song. R and B singer or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, website supernaturalcosmetics.com. Um, or supernaturalmink.com, the makeup masterclass.com. Okay. When I when do we expect you to go on another master tour? I want to do it at the top of next year. Okay. Because that tour, we did warm me out. Yeah, it was a lot. And you went to Seek City. Yes, but I want to do more. You know, you learn every time. Mm-hmm. So I think. You know, it will be much tighter next time. Okay. And I could even pull off maybe like 10, 12 cities. Oh, wow. Well, don't forget me. I'm not. Because you did so good. Thank you. I had fun, though. Chicago has always been a good time for me. So I appreciate you for coming to Beauty and the Beat. No, thank you so much for inviting me. No, thank you for coming. I hit her up and she was like, yes, even on book, that can come this date. Yeah. And I was happy. Yeah. So thank you. Drone, we better get out of here. Already. It's been a pleasure, definitely, you know, just hearing that background. One last thing I, I would tell you is give one, a piece of advice for the upcoming MUA, mm-hmm. the young sisters listening. What 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 do you what's what's essential jewels that you can give them getting into the game? Um I would say, you know, I tell everyone, like, hard work pays off, and there's just no way around that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way, there's no shortcuts, there's no, I'm not an instant gratification type of person. Mm -hmm. Like, I always look at my results as as far as how much work did I put in. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to become successful, that requires a lot of hard work, so... You, you, you got to keep keep going and you have to keep working and, and never get comfortable and stay in that grind mode and just work your ass off. For sure. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you heard it best. Olivia's song. Olivia's yeah. song. <laughs> a song. 
I mean, one of the most impactful mm -hmm. makeup artists. Right now, right in now. the culture. Current. Don't do that. So no, tap in. <laughs> For real. Tap in. Tap in. Tap in. And I'm just glad you open and, you know, you're willing to give advice and classes to other women. And it's just big to me. It's, it's empowering. For sure. Well. We got to have you back. Yes. yes, we need to do a live with her doing my face. Oh yeah, Ooh, that. And, and we working on some. We feels. was on that the would news. Be crazy. Yeah, we, we did. The, she had me on the news. I was like, wait a minute. We got some <laughs> movies and whatnot coming up. So you yeah, know, you okay. Never know. Just got through talking to Doll Face, producing. Yep. She said she got me. Doll Face. It's done. And we got Ooh. a couple ideas I'm working on, you know, a film with. It's like I, I told Dom, I said, man, we got to put together a movie. A movie, mm -hmm. yes. You yes. Know what I mean? Jazzy down. Jazzy couple other people, up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We're going to need you. We're going to need yeah. you. And we're going to fly you back from L.A. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to see what, what Memphis is, is about. You oh, got to yeah. come. Yeah. 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 I got, it's I got so some fun. player partners I can introduce hey, you to. Hey, now. Uh, <laughs> Look, she's like, uh-uh. <laughs> she don't want that pee sure, she I think that. She, I think she, she'll be interested. Hey, you might be interested. <laughs> the P with the D, you yeah, know. Man. Yeah, no, we, uh -huh. we get up out of here, yeah. Listen to this track, bitch. Beauty and the Beats. Hey. Jessica Dine. We out. <laughs>